Hi all, let's talk about code quality in React application. Right now we have React application created with the create React app, especially for React library. Application is here, here's nothing special, just simple application with a few files and our package is on. To maintain the code quality, we are going to use ESLint. ESLint is already built in library to React app and uh, it is, it's used when you start your application and it has config, ESLint config. And when we try to run yarn start, in the console output you will see the results of, of linting your code and uh, what's wrong and what should be changed. Uh, what is ESLint, how it works and how to install it, we already discussed in another video so so with starting uh, what is ESLint how it works and how to install it and why do we need it we already discussed in another video you can uh, check it you can find the link in description or um, I click a button in the top right corner so here we can see that there are a few errors there are some um, expectation and uh, something should be changed because there are a lot of errors but how can we run it locally by ourselves and uh, even how can we extend it for our own reasons and uh, what we need especially for what we need <clears throat> so how can we do it as i mentioned before we are using uh, create react app uh, here are a lot of documentation but uh, here's nothing mentioned about how to run local linting so let's start first of all yes lint is already installed as a dependency and we can find it in uh, node modules it's yes lint with all plugins and configuration so let's extend our configuration with our own rules so first of all we need to create the file first of all we need to create file yes lint sim Yes, you add. It's a simple file with configuration uh, of ESLint. We created this file and uh, let's put some config. I have this config, it was prepared, uh, it was taken from another project. I used it, uh, so let's check it. So what we have, if we have environments, it's environment where this lint will be run. It's a browser, special for browser because it's a React application and for Jest. Jest is testing for library. So we are, we are using uh, unit tests and um, everything should be checked, especially for tests. Parser is Babel, Babel ESLint. We have some plugins, it's import for React and React hooks. As we are using the latest version of React with the hooks, we need additional plugin. Also we have a few rules. Also we have a few rules uh, which describe uh, what we need to do, special for React and for our application. We clarify that the max length of our of each um, line should be 120 characters. Also, a few additional. What do we extend? Extends. As a base, we took Airbnb plugin with all the rules and everything what should be done there. Uh, you can find it in uh, Google. I showed it in previous video. Also, we used some pl React plugins, import and uh, also some recommended plugins and what is interesting it's special overrides section for spec.js it's our unit test for unit test we need another rules a bit because um, there's some uh, another way how it works uh, with uh, Im imports and uh, other parts so you can copy it it works fine how can we run it let's stop it and try it yes linked Okay, doesn't work. Let's let's add the config here. It's uh, lint. Yes, lint. Root everything. Let's try yarn lint. Run. It seems it works fine. Takes some time. Okay, and result we have. We have a lot, 631 errors, it's pretty big number, and a lot of warnings, error and warnings, and that's what we needed.
we run this code uh, additionally let's uh, change a bit this uh, file with uh, another file it calls ignore because we don't need to run uh, eslint for all files and all folders for example public build uh, node modules should be skipped so let's create um, this lint ignore and uh, we'll add here some files it's build it's folders folders which should be skipped public node is it should be for if you, if we use node.js and node modules okay let's run it again looks better much better let's compare what was wrong so as we can see previously we had a lot of errors especially in build build folder static folder but for our code it works fine also we extend packages on so we can run it and also how can we fix it automatically we can run lint it's in case we need to fix uh, something automatically without um, looking at it and changing by ourselves it speed up work so we have one we have one error use callback is not defined let's open this component components context so it's line 19 use callback yeah and we have it here so let's run it again everything works fine also we see that after fixing uh, it added some additional braces and the bit formatted our code also added some dependencies okay everything works fine thank you for watching